you're on. Hi everyone, I am here with a Bible reading. I hope you guys are having a good day. Sorry, it's kind of late. I've been trying to work on feeling better all day so I can get this these videos up. I'm kind of in a flare up with my stomach right now. Last few days. Plus I got a headache on top of that and I'm in a lot of pain. So just not having a very good last couple of days. But I wanted to get this up for you guys because you know we I've been behind here because of the internet. Sherman and I are both very tired. He's had two appointments today that he had to go out for. Opposite directions. He had to go get an MRI done today and he had to go to the dermatologist today. So he just got back here a little bit ago. And he's tired. He's falling asleep in the in the lobby. And I'm tired. I get up when he gets up and but I went back to bed for a while because I was so sick the first time he was gone. I went back to bed and laid down. I mean, just the slightest little smells and stuff when I am sick. Mm. Anything can make me sick very easily. Okay, guys, so today we're going to be reading... 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 13, reading through chapter 2 verse 10. We're going to be continuing on with Psalm 119 with verses 33 through 48 and Proverbs chapter 28 verse 11. I was told if I drank Sprite instead of Dark Pop that it would settle my stomach, and I'm hoping it works. So the first thing I've had today besides try, I haven't had nothing to eat at all. I can't even stand the smell of food, not alone food. I tried to have a banana yesterday, and it did not work. It came right back up. A banana. But um, I'm having some Sprite, and I was having some plain crackers. Alright, so let's begin here with 1 Peter. We'll be talking about in 1 Peter today, to be holy and the living stone and the chosen people. Alright, so let's begin. Therefore, with minds that are alert and fully sober, set your hope on the grace to be brought to you when Jesus Christ is revealed at his coming. And obedient children, do not conform to the evil desires you had when you lived in ignorance. But just as he who called you is holy, so be holy in all you do, for it is written, Be holy because I am holy. Since you call on a father who judges each person's work impartially, live out your time as foreigners here in reverent fear. For you know that it was not with perishable things such as silver or gold that you were redeemed from the empty way of life handed down to you from your ancestors but with the precious blood of Christ, a lamb without blemish or defect. He was chosen before the creation of the world, but was revealed in the last times for your sake. Through him you believe in God, who raised him from the dead and glorified him, and so your faith and hope are in God. Now that you have been purified yourselves by obeying the truth, so that you have sincere love for each other, love one another deeply from the heart. For you have been born again, 
not of perishable seed, but of imperishable, through the living and enduring word of God. For all people are like grass, and all their glory is like the flowers of the field. The grass withers and the flowers fall, but the word of the Lord endures forever. And this is the word that was preached to you. Therefore, rid yourselves of all malice and all deceit, hypocrisy, envy, and slander of every kind. Like newborn babies, crave pure spiritual milk, so that by it you may grow up in your salvation, now that you have tasted that the Lord is good. As you come to him, the living stone, rejected by humans, but chosen by God and precious to him, you also, like living stones, are built into a spiritual house to be, holy, to be a holy priesthood offering spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. For the scripture it says, See, I lay a stone in Zion. The Lord loves Zion a chosen and precious cornerstone so that one who trusts in him will never be put to shame. Now to you who believe this stone is precious, but to those who do not believe, the stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone and a stone that causes people to stumble and a rock that makes them fall. They stumble because they disobey the message, which is also what they were destined for. But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into the wonderful light. Once you were not a people, but now you are the people of God. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. All right, guys, and that is where we're stopping with First Peter. And now we're going to begin Psalm 119, verses 33 through 48 today. And he says, Teach me, Lord, the way of your decrees, that I may unfollow, that I may follow it to the end. Give me understanding so that I may keep your law and obey it with all my heart. Direct me in the path of your commands, for there I find delight. Turn my heart toward your statutes and not toward selfish gain. Turn my eyes away from worthless things. Preserve my life according to your word. Fulfill your promise to your servant, so that you may be feared. Take away the disgrace I dread, for your laws are good. How I long for your precepts, in your righteousness preserve my life. And Wah says, May your unfailing love come to me, Lord, your salvation according to your promise that I can answer anyone who taunts me, for I trust in your word. Never take your word of truth from my mouth, for I have put my hope in your laws. I will always obey your law forever and ever. I will walk about in freedom, for I have sought out your precepts. I will speak of your statutes before kings and will not be put to shame, for I delight in your commands because I love them. I reach out for your commands, which I love, that I may meditate on your decrees. All right, guys, and that is where we're stopping with Psalm 119 today. All right, and we have one proverb tonight, Proverbs chapter 28, verse 11, which says, The rich are wise in their own eyes. One who is poor and discerning 
sees how deluded they are. Sometimes a person can't see just what's right in front of their face. All right, guys, that was our Bible reading for today. I hope it touched your guys' hearts. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Let's bring those souls to Jesus, and let's pray tomorrow is a better day for all of us. Bye, guys. God bless.